Okay, hi friends, how are you? Welcome to Searching in Fearless Recovery Tarot. My name is Carrie Crane. I will be your guide this evening, day, afternoon, 2 a.m., I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, this reading is going to be for Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, I would definitely just recommend take what resonates. Um, Watch whatever videos you feel inclined to. They're all yours. So this is just going to be a general energy of what's going on for Capricorn. What goals, accomplishments are we working on? What steps do we need to work on? Is there emotional inventory needed? Who knows? Who knows? I feel frustration before I go in. Um, I'm going to go in with the prayer first. And then we're going to start the shiz. Okay. Father God, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> I thank you for another day not promised. I ask only those that walk in the light into this reading. Please help those with heavy placements in Capricorn in the Recovery Collective. Thank you so much for all the love, guidance, and wisdom that you share with us, all the signs that you give us to let us know that we're not alone and that we are loved and worthy. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn you know right now I feel frustration like there's a blockage but you it's deeply embedded so it's something that needs to be seen but isn't eighth house and twelfth house wow I can't make this shit up okay so eighth house talks eighth house is Scorpio it talks about death rebirth transformation all of that good stuff but it also talks about the things underneath that we don't see, okay? The things that we maybe project onto other people accidentally that we don't see, anything like that. 12th house is talking about your faith. It's also talking about your hidden tendencies, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a work goal. I feel like this is actually putting yourself out there um, in the limelight. For others of you, I feel like this has to do with you being in a position of power or a position where you heavily recognize what's going on, but something doesn't feel right or you're caught in a negative thought pattern or you feel like you're not leading properly. That's what this feels like. Okay. King of Pentacles, Anxiety, King of Cups. So you both... Some, okay, wow. What is this? I feel like some of you present yourselves in a certain way. When in reality, you want to speak with your heart, but you really, really have difficulty transitioning into that. It's like you present yourself as this masculine, um, very, very masculine, um, not not pushy or anything like that it doesn't feel pushy it just feels like you're very independent you have a very independent energy to you and um there's a little bit of an element of control i'm feeling like um issues with control issues with things not working out exactly the way that you want them to um but you're also king of cups so it's like you're working on that you're you're working on this issue you're working on figuring it out there is anxiety here i'm gonna do I'm going to do a poll and a clarification on this anxiety. What, what anxiety is going on? You come in as a king, though, so it's not like you're not overly well, overly whelmed. <laughs> it's not like you're, you're overly confused or overwhelmed. It's just like there's this anxiety. It's hidden. That's what it feels like. It's hidden, and it's driving you crazy that you cannot figure out exactly what it is. Okay. Nine of Swords. It's like the spirit is showing me that this person is in bed. This per this is nighttime. This person is in bed. This is behind closed doors, and all the swords above them are thoughts, thoughts that need to be cut out. But it's like they're unwilling to cut them out. It's almost like the thought of of taking these these thoughts away or taking these swords away, almost almost feels like it's a little piece of your identity or you you worry that you're not going to be the same after you take these out 
after you become this king of cups that you're transforming into and mind you i'm just reading energy so it's not really about sex about him or her it's about masculine and feminine energy right so masculine energy is very like take the lead let's do this let's get in front of the camera let's you know let's go let's make money you know let's let's be very practical let's be very logical and king of cups is a little bit less logical they lead with their heart you know they do i i yeah i just feel like you struggle you definitely struggle with that clarification of that moment. wow some of you could be going through two people a decision a decision of your heart and your head and trying to figure out whether you want to progress with somebody. Um, this could be somebody from the past. This could have been, this could be family too. This could actually be family too. Um, almost like you were, you were raised one way. You were raised to be this king of pentacles. Um, and you've done, you've done a good job at it. You know how to be the king of pentacles, but you, you don't realize that that's not really exactly who you want to embody is the king of pentacles. It's like, you want this king of cups too. There's this loneliness with being the king of pentacles. It's almost like there's a, it's very, very hard to trust. It's very, very hard to, unless you absolutely know a guaranteed ending. It's like, I see you stifling yourself, stopping yourself. Um, committing st stoicism, committing stoicism. That's like what I'm hearing in my head, committing stoicism as a, and stoicism is basically when you just, you don't show any emotion. You're not sad, happy, glad, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're just you, you're just there, you know, you're not really conveying what's going on inside of the heart. You are manifesting opportunities to happen. You are manifesting this hard, like this hard work. It, it does feel like you show up for yourself every day. This does not feel like you're just like, oh, well, I have bad thoughts and I'm going to keep distracting myself. No, you keep showing up for yourself every single day. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's a shitty day. Doesn't matter if you're committing five minutes to yourself just to take a breather and to look from a different perspective on how your life is going you are doing that that's incredible so please pat yourself on the back capricorn because i know you guys don't do that very often okay you're working your ass off you're working your ass off don't try to find some way where you're not doing it perfect okay <laughs> magician you're manifesting opportunity right before your very eyes i think that this scares you i think that whatever this opportunity or this horizon you feel it kind of scares you because you know you're gonna have to step into a different role you're going to have to step into this cups position. Um, but you're ready for it. You're ready for this new position. You're ready to show a little bit more emotion. You're ready. You're healing. It's not so uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable at first. But, you know, if, if you know the difference, there's two different types of stress, right? There's distress and there's eustress. Eustress being spelled E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, right? Okay. <laughs> That's just me. I'm a nerd. I would have had to know what the spelling was. Um, but you stress is something where you're doing it. Yes, it feels uncomfortable as shit. It feels uncomfortable as hell, but you're doing it in order to progress forward in life. You know, it's not comfortable because it's not an avenue that you've gone down before. Whereas distress is something where there's toxicity involved. You you're in over your head. I don't feel like you get, I don't feel like you ever have, if you did, you were younger, but I don't feel like you play those games anymore. It's like you don't, you, you're not willing to play those games anymore. You don't want to be in distress. You don't want to put yourself in the middle of toxicity for your own well-being, for your own health. What's this page of cups? This queen of wands. Okay. Someone could be coming in to make you an emotional offer at this time. Um... With the tower reversed here, it's it's after a tower moment. It's after a tower moment. And tower moments don't necessarily have to be bad. It's just bringing light to the shadow, right? So yes, they can be bad in our physical reality because 
it's things that need to bend and break. And it doesn't look perfect when we have tower moments. We can get angry in tower moments. We can get upset in tower moments. But it feels like this tower moment has already happened. And you could be getting an offer from someone who is just as passionate as you are. You manifested this. You manifested this hard work. Now, is it... What the hell is it? Is it... Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is this tower? So Queen of Wands, this would be someone um, someone who's approaching you that's taking the more feminine approach. Um, maybe they're coming in as a friend first. Maybe they're coming maybe they're coming in to support you as like a maternal figure. This could be like a sponsor coming in for you guys for some of you. Or, or a new sponsor coming in for some of you. Um, this could be somebody who's willing to give you a new perspective on everything. Um, I don't know if it necessarily feels romantic. It's more just along the lines of like someone coming in to guide you and assist you in this. But don't forget, don't forget to discern this information. Don't forget to discern what's coming at you because I feel like um, this is also meant to be a time where you're, you're meant to discern for yourself how you're going to move forward. But I feel like this Queen of Wands and the passion, the passion that this person is going to show you from a feminine perspective perspective this could be somebody that you're watching this could be somebody who's inspiring you at this time where you're like oh okay male or female non-binary it doesn't matter this person is very passionate but they're passionate in their own right they're passionate in, in their own way with their own projects um they know where they're headed they know where they're going and it's like after this tower moment you're looking to this person for guidance you're looking to this person for courage for the courage to be who you are fully, 100%. There could be an offer coming in from someone who isn't at your level. Hierophant, the devil, page of cups. Okay, so Who's this Hierophant? Who's this Hierophant? I feel like this may, may have been a situation where someone was binding you. Um, this could be a codependent situation. Um, where this person just isn't. Okay, there's going to be clarity. There's going to be clarity definitely, and an offering, but they're asking, they're going to be clarity and, and offering to whatever relationship broke down, whatever relationship wasn't, wasn't interested. This person is coming in as the page of swords. Okay. This person, you could have very well been very heavily involved or very committed to this person or this individual, but they're show, they're coming up as pages. So it's like this person wasn't ready. This person wasn't emotionally ready to be in the kind of relationship that you want in the kind of commitment that you want. Um, this could be, this person could be having issues of addiction themselves with the devil or not, if not addiction, it's more, um, self-sabotaging behaviors, self-sabotaging behaviors. Yeah. Knight of Swords, the Emperor. Some of you could have children with this individual as the Emperor. Um, there is a message coming in for you guys, though. Some of you could have children. Um, emperor is like a father figure, okay? So what, regardless of whether you're male or female, this person that would be coming in to close out the cycle, maybe, actually, I take that back. Maybe you're the emperor taking control of your life. Let me get some clarification on the emperor. Sorry, I hate when I slam the cards on the table because whenever I hear that in a YouTube video, I... I get PTSD from it. And I'm sure if you're watching Recovery Tarot, you probably do too. So I will try not to do that. It's just kind of a habit. Okay. This is you. This is you. This is you taking control of your life. This is you coming in with clarity because you took the time to figure out what you want. You took the time to create the boundaries. You took the time to siphon through all those thoughts that were difficult for you. 
You moved forward in your journey despite how painful it was, despite how anxious it made you. Despite the memories. It's like with this card, I feel like you're taking the good memories of what happened within whatever relationship got canceled for you and you're keeping them in your pocket and you're saving them for a rainy day when you get sad or whatever. But this isn't a bad thing. This is more like you're finding gratitude. You're finding gratitude for be for the good memories that you had. You're finding gratitude for the progress you made within that relationship, but you're also able to move forward. You're also able to be in a place where your thoughts, your thoughts and your state of mind isn't affected by what this individual has to say. You're coming to a place of completion. You're coming to a place where this cycle is ending, regardless of whether it's starting a new relationship in a really good way. I would go to the love messages. That's a great YouTube channel if you guys are interested in those um, with Monica Love. Um, but honestly, like with this, it, it feels like you're completing a cycle. Some of you could be, um, don't worry, this is happening. It's not here quite yet. It's not here quite yet, but you can feel it on the horizon with the hanged man. Hanged man is always about sacrifice, but this dude, look, I mean, look at his face. He's like, whatever. I know what's coming to me is coming to me. I know what's for me will not miss me. Huge. Huge. Okay, let's do some guidance cards, Cappies. Cappies! Let's do some guidance. Okay. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? What does the Capricorn Recovery Collective need to know at this time for their highest good? For their highest good. Please only let those that walk in the light in. I already got humor in the middle of the deck. Envy. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. Hey, if you're getting a little bit of grass is greener syndrome from other content creators or other people in the workplace or other people that are... Um, working in different areas, then you recognize that that envy comes from a place of actual creativity. You don't want that person's life, whatever, whatever person that you're looking at, you, know, you don't want that, but you don't want to wake up in their bed tomorrow. You don't want to be with the same exact partner that they're with. You want your own life. You want your own, your own way of being, your own perspective, your own understanding. It doesn't matter what the hell they're doing. They're successful because they're coming from a place of authenticity and they're not looking at the others around them to create whatever they need to create. You're meant to be a maverick. You're meant to do something for you, not for anybody else. So when this envy pops up, don't be shameful of it. Don't don't put yourself in a corner and say, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm the worst, you know, which I know you won't. I know you won't. But when this envy is calling up, it's basically, it's your creativity cropping up saying, hey, recognize me, see me. I wanna be shown. I want other people to see me. That's what this envy is, okay? So it's nothing to be shameful about. It's nothing to be shameful about, okay? Envy is a natural human emotion and all of us are here to experience the rigmarole of emotion anyways. So please, please, please don't get down on yourself for that, okay? It's just your, it's just your creativity going, hey, hey man, I need you recognized. Denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside of awareness. Fear is a mile wide and paper thin. All we have to do is just walk through it. You freaking got this. Okay. These steps to success are incredibly difficult, but once the success comes, you'll understand why everything happened the way that it happened. It's going to be okay. No matter what. Anyways, I love all of you and uh, until next time. Bye.